Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Dante's Boxer Nation, Dante's Clicker Nation. We are out here. Where are we at? We are out here in Bangkok. There you go. You hear that? I just made her a proud citizen of Long Beach, California. You heard, you heard the accent like this. She's from Ireland. Matter of fact, introduce yourself to the world. My name is Hannah, and I'm from Ireland, and I'm the biggest yeah. fan of Stephen You hear that? Yeah. The biggest fan? And I'm what? from Ireland. Sorry. No, I, I can edit it. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Yeah. I'm the biggest fan of Stephen channel, too. Like, it's what? the best thing I've ever seen. Thank you. So you've been watching the videos yeah. and everything? Yeah, every day. All the way in Bangkok, in Bangkok, Thailand, y'all. No, I'm get in right Ireland as well. In Ireland, you hear that? <laughs> DBN is my, international, my, guys. My <laughs>so anyway y'all let's go ahead and get into some boxing news while I'm walking to the gym I decided to um, park keep my uh, motorbike parked today I wanted to get some um, cardio uh, a lot of people just don't realize how effective just walking is you know just to give y'all some advice a little advice from Dante's Muscle Nation if you guys are looking to downsize you're looking to lose some weight all you I mean one of the one of the best ways to lose weight believe it or not you get your sleep make sure you get your rest number one you want to sleep for at least six to eight hours and when you wake up instead of eating breakfast go out and take a walk for at least one hour now you obviously can walk longer than that but all you need is one hour you do that five to seven days out of a week and I guarantee you especially if you're monitoring your calorie count your caloric count as long as you're doing that, you know, trying to stay around, stay within 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day, you will get positive results, okay? Once again, some advice from Dante's Muscle Nation. Let's go ahead and get into this boxing news. So anyway, guys, um, like I was saying, um, shout out to my man, um, Blue Blood Sports TV. Uh, my man, um, he interviewed Anthony Joshua, and he brought that heat. He brought that heat. My man, uh, my man Blue, he put more pressure on Anthony Joshua than Deontay Wilder has. Anyway, guys, I had to um, restart my recording. I ran out of space on my camera. But anyway, guys, um, like I said, um, going back to Blue Blood Sports TV interviewing Anthony Joshua. Like I said before, he put tremendous pressure on Anthony Joshua. And he asked the question that a lot of reporters... They want to ask Anthony Joshua, but they're afraid to ask the difficult, tough questions. And that's what new no. media is all it's about. It's about asking the real tough questions that old media usually won't ask, right? So, uh, Blue Blood Sports TV, he asked the obvious question. You know, why did you say you wanted $50 million, and then, you know, once um, he offered it to you, you turned it down, right? It was a very awkward moment, if you will because he looked extremely uncomfortable and he started to say stuff that really didn't make sense. Anthony Joshua, he, he kind of um, implied that he never received the $50 million. He tried to make it seem as if the $50 million was never really um, a real deal. That's what he was trying to suggest. But we know that's not the case because even Eddie Hearn admitted that the $50 million offer was legit. Even Eddie Hearn, he admitted that. So, you know, it really put it really put Anthony Joshua in a very, very awkward situation. Sabai so Dimai. Yeah, see, so whenever you guys are out here, make sure you get um a massage because it's it's always some massage places everywhere, right? You know, and uh, uh, like I said before in my last video, if you can get a massage for 200 baht or 150 baht. You guys know how much that is in America? 150 baht is three damn dollars in America. That's what it is, y'all. So anyway, matter of fact, if you guys can, can you give me a sample? Just, just, just a little touch, a little touch. What's up? You see that? You see that right there? See, just to give you a sample. Just to give you a sample of how it works right there. See, that's love right there. That's love. And see, every once in a while, 
I give them a massage. See, come here, let me give you. See, I give them a massage every once in a while. Look, she got dimples like me. Y'all see that? She look dimples. Y'all see that? We, we look like twins, don't we? You know, so yeah, that's what you guys want. You want to come over here. Cost of living is good. You can eat for, for very affordable. You can live out here cheap. You know, I mean, it's a hidden paradise. But we're going to talk more about that on Dante's Travel Nation, okay? That's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. So, okay, guys. I'll talk to you. Like on, okay? See you guys. All right. So yeah, so um, yeah, I love uh, messing with the cats while I'm doing my my videos because they just so welcoming, you know. They they welcome you with open arms and everything. So, but anyway, man, before I get uh, distracted even further, like I said, man, um, what was I saying? See, this is why I need to be live so y'all can y'all can help me remember what the hell I was saying. Uh, back to uh, Anthony Joshua. Yeah, um, fumbling at the mouth. Uh, basically trying to get out of the room because that pressure was on his ass with these damn questions about that boy Deontay Wilder and the 50 million dollars. It's really, really difficult to get around that question. That's why, once again, credit and shout out to Blue Blood because he nailed it with that question. And and it was and as expected, there was really no way that Anthony Joshua could answer could answer that question without contradicting himself. It was damn near impossible. It was damn near impossible. You know, so anyway, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, Anthony Joshua is in a bad situation. He's in a bit of a conundrum right now. And eventually he's gonna have to see that boy Deontay Wilder, or he's gonna ruin his legacy. He's already ruining his reputation. Uh, you know, uh, who, who said, that? let me see. Uh, my man, Blue Blood Sports TV, he already said that, you know, after he interviewed Anthony and asked him them tough questions. My man Blue, he said even Sky Sports people was coming over getting his contact information and they were thanking him and congratulating him on asking the difficult questions that other reporters were afraid to ask Anthony Joshua. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is, man. That's pretty much what it is. Once again, Anthony Joshua was trying to suggest that, you know, it wasn't a real offer, but we know that's not true. We know that's why they didn't take the fight. In fact, if that is the case, why did they send a contract to uh, Deontay Wilder saying that, you know, um, we still won't fight you next. You have to sign a contract that we get to fight someone else first before we fight you. Come on, man. Don't play with us. We know what time it is. We know, we know what time it is. Ain't nobody ever negotiated a fight where they say, let me fight someone else first before we before I get in the ring with you. Ain't nobody ever made no deal like that before. Ain't nobody ever made a deal like that before. Okay? Anthony Joshua, he understands the situation. Anthony Joshua, he understands that this is a very difficult fight to win, and he wants severance pay. He wants severance pay. You know, because he said, God damn it, if I'm going to lose to Deontay Wilder, I better be well, well paid. Once again, man, I'm going to close out with asking you this rhetorical question. For all you UK fans that are sitting over here defending Anthony Joshua and you saying, this is BS, this is BS, let me ask you one simple question. Why did Anthony Joshua, why did Anthony Joshua, why did he demand so much from Deontay Wilder that he never demanded from any of his other previous opponents? You guys answer that question. Why is that? Why is it he said, I want $50 million to fight against Deontay Wilder? How come he didn't ask for $50 million to fight Charles Martin? You guys answer that question. How come he didn't ask for $50 million to fight against Vladimir Klitschko? He's never done it before, right? Yeah, my Thai people over there are chilling, as y'all see. But yeah, he never, he never asked for it. So we know the respect level, the respect that he has for Deontay Wilder, and that's to put it mildly. Now I'm sweating right now because I'm getting that walk in, y'all. I told you, man, this walking cardio is no joke. I'm gonna walk for, I'm gonna walk for about uh, about an hour, and then I'm gonna hit these weights, you know. And then after that, I'm gonna give me some good food, you know, give me a massage and all that good stuff. Give me a one-hour massage for three damn dollars. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. You know, this is a hidden paradise. Thailand is a hidden paradise, but you know, I'm going to explain 
to you guys because once again you can't really grasp and understand you know how great of a country Thailand is until you actually experience it for yourself or you have somebody like me out here showing you the good life and I haven't really showed you guys anything yet I'm saving that for um, uh, Dante's Travel Nation my other channel and um, I'm going to be um, explaining to you guys why once again Thailand is such a great country let me go ahead and cross the street once again let's try not to get hit all right so yeah man anyway I think that's pretty much what it is I think that's it yeah that's it yeah yeah that's it um, I don't have nothing else to say like I said we'll talk more about why Thailand is um, such a great country um, in my other channel um, one thing I will go ahead and touch on is obviously you want to be in a country where you are treated with respect where people are not looking at your skin color and you you know you can wake up every single day you don't have to worry about getting shot by the police you don't have to worry about no rival uh, minority gang uh, shooting you and killing you you ain't got to worry about nothing you ain't got to worry about none of that stuff you ain't got to worry about none of that stuff you ain't got to worry about moving into a nice neighborhood and them looking at you like what the hell are you doing in this neighborhood you don't have to worry about that here and um, once again I'm gonna touch I'll touch more on that uh, in some of those videos I have interviews with Thai girls um, I have all kind of stuff that um, I done um, documented since I've been out here because uh, the misconception was Thai women at least from some fat white dude on YouTube uh, you know he put it out there he put a video out there that uh, Thai women didn't date black men and um, that is hilarious we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about that on that channel so yeah man I'm gonna go ahead and keep sweating right now and getting this workout in I'm about to put my headphones on you know start bobbing my damn head and I'll catch up with you guys later on that's all I got for now guys I'm on to the next one yep <laughs>